In this video, I'll teach you all you need to know about salvaging. Make sure to watch till the end as I have an important tip for you to make double the income potential as a salvager. Let's get into it. Before you get started, let's quickly go through your gear and equipment. In the vehicle management app, you'll see that the Vulture has two salvage heads installed. I'm sure there will be more options available in the future. The default is a Baylor salvage head. Each has two subcomponent slots that allows you to install either a scraper or a tractor beam. By default, you have three scrapers and one tractor beam. This setup is already sufficient, so you don't need to change any of them. It's important to bring with you a multi-tool with a tractor beam attachment or a max lift tractor beam. The reason for this is you'll need to leave your ship to open cargo bays, doors, etc. There's always a possibility of finding cargo containers, weapons, or even components you might be interested in. In this case, I found some crates of gold. There are four ways to find salvage. The first one can be found in general missions under the salvage category. These missions are legal but require an upfront fee. The second are under personal missions. These are illegal, some require an upfront fee and some do not. But if caught, you'll be in trouble with the UEE. Thirdly, you can find some at Lagrange points littered all throughout the system. And lastly, bounty missions. But the most consistent way is the first two options. To activate the salvage mode, you need to use the M key bind. Let's quickly break down the UI. In the top left and right, you'll find the subcomponents of the mining heads listed. As you can see, there are three scrapers and one tractor beam, as we saw earlier. The top two subcomponents are highlighted, meaning that they're the currently active ones. You can find a little more details about them here. In this case, you have diameter, speed, and efficiency, because these are scrapers. You'll notice later that when we switch to the second set of subcomponents, we'll see slightly different details, especially for the tractor beam. In the middle here, you'll see these two elements representing the salvage head, head left and head right. They're highlighted again because they're currently active. Next is fracture mode, then disintegration mode. We'll cover what these are a little later. Right below this is some details about the ship or debris you're pointing at. In this case, the constellation has 100% salvage remaining. It has a mass of 338.5 tons and its shields are off. Shields must be off before you can salvage any ship. Right below this, you'll find more information about the currently active heads. You have a distance meter here and a percentage of the scraper's material where the heads are pointing at. You'll notice this change as we move the ship around. Below this is the rate that we'll extract at. To the bottom left is the speed, g-forces for your ship, and to the right is the internal storage for your salvage ship filler station. As you can see, the Vulture has a maximum of 14 SCU of salvage you can store internally until you need to print out the cargo boxes. If you right click, you can see that your second set of subcomponents are now highlighted. The left is the track the beam and the right is the third scraper. You have the ability to select individual heads to operate at a time or two at a time. With the left alt A and left alt D, you can switch to focus on the right or the left salvage head. In this case, I have the left head active and have the tractor beam initiated with the left mouse button. With left alt S, I can re-enable both heads and use them simultaneously. You can even focus on one, switch the subcomponent, then use it simultaneously with the other. In this case, I'm using the top left subcomponent with the bottom right subcomponent. You can also adjust the distance between the scraper heads and even the axis. With the left alt and mouse wheel, they can separate or converge. With the left alt and right mouse button, you can switch the axis between vertical and lateral. If you find value in this video so far, please consider subscribing as it does help the channel. We'll now go ahead and scrape a little. As this happens, notice the filler station will begin to fill. The first stage is scraping, which involves obtaining RMC. So now the second stage is fracturing the ship. This will break the ship apart into smaller pieces which will allow you to disintegrate the ship to obtain construction components. To go into fracture mode, use the left alt W key bind. To initiate fracturing, you need to click the left mouse button. You can see its progress here. It tells you how much SCU worth of construction components you'll get here. Now that fracturing is complete, you can switch to disintegration mode with the right alt and S key bind. Here's a caveat you need to be aware of. Notice these negative percentages on each fractured debris. If you choose to disintegrate now, you lose that amount of percentage of the total SU of that debris. 
To get the most out of these, you need to use your tractor beam and separate them from each other so you can disintegrate them individually. Before disintegration, you need to find a sweet spot where you can obtain the full amount. Rotate around the debris until you no longer see a negative percentage. As mentioned before, left mouse button to initiate. When the target debris will surpass your available filler station capacity, it will highlight yellow as you can see here. Once full, head back to print out the containers. At the filler station, you can see the total internal storage here and its contents here. Under the depot tab, you'll be able to construct the cargo containers for each of the elements. In the Vulture, you have the option of 1 SCU containers. In the Reclaimer, you'll be able to go up to 16 SCU containers. The Craft tab allows you to craft things like the multi-tool and attachments, by the way. Hit Eject to print. The Auto Eject option allows you to print continuously as long as there's no blockage. So what you need to do is to print all 14 SCU out, then go back and disintegrate again to fill the filler station again. This way, you have a total of 28 SCU instead of 14. Head back to any admin office that buys RMC and construction components and sell. RMC is now more valuable than construction components, so it's important to fully scrape the hull of that ship before you fracture it. This will ensure that you're getting the most out of that ship. Admin offices at major landing zones definitely buy these items such as Orson, Lorville, New Babbage, or Area 18. Once done selling, head back to your voucher in the hangar and print the remaining 14 SCU in the internal storage, then head back to sell again. This way, you can make double the income. This method applies to the reclaimer as well. Salvaging is better in groups. My organization Phase 1 Industries is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you're interested, you can find my Discord in the description down below. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.